This video is going to be a huge gift for every 3D artist and Blender user because we are going to cover 11 errors that we get once we are doing 3D modeling. These errors consist of topology, mesh, texture issues and some Blender interface issues. We will go for each error in detail and we will find that why this thing happens and what's the reason behind. Tell me in comments how many errors you were getting this before and if you have any other error you can actually comment and I will make a part 2 of this video. For now let's get started. Okay so let's start from the first error that we get is that we have two objects here and if we try to join this with Control J as you can see uh, the one object texture disappeared like this. So let me show you the reason behind it. Actually we have UV channels for both the objects and if we come here to the object data properties and to the UV you would see the UV name, UV channel name here. So if I select the first object uh, it says UV map and if I do the second one it is UV map WW. So that's the issue. Uh, to join these object we need the same UV channel name in order to merge it correctly. So if I select the first one and try to copy the name and then I select the second one and control V to paste that. Now both of them have the same naming and now if I try to join this it will work like this. So yeah that was it for this issue. Uh, actually the thing happen is that if I just join these two with the different name it comes with two different UV channels and now I can just enable the one that I wanted but I can't use the same at both at the same so that's why it gave this kind of error so before merging we have to actually do that and let me show you another thing that if you already merge that then what you can do is that select one of them P and then separate selection. Now we have to remove the second one and then we get the first one and for this one we have to remove the first one and we get the second one and now we can change the name again and now we can join that. So this is for when you done a lot of work on your model and then you see that I accidentally do that. So for this you can just separate that and redo the same thing so yeah now let's move up to the second error okay the second error that we get is the shared smoothing error that we try to right click and shared smooth but some of the area looks super weird like this and even after coming up to the object data properties and coming up here to the normals and doing that it won't show fix your thing because this is actually a, another problem that you are getting so you you can just like clear your thing but as you can see there is still a sharp line for it so let me show you what's the reason behind it so actually uh, if i show you the concept is that if we have any object like this uh, it have two faces one is the top one and one is the down one so one of them is the um, outer face and one of them is the inner face uh, if you want to see that what you can do here is to come up here to the overlay and turn on the face orientation as you can see <clears throat> the blue one is the one that we show outside and the red one is the one is that is in, inside so what it happens is that if i now turn off this thing in control h uh, to get my data back what what is happening here is that if we turn on the face orientation as you can see some of the places has been convert it to the inner one so that's why it's reacting like this the shared smooth is not working uh, in order to fix this thing what you have to do is to select all and then alt n and you can flip that the area that you want so uh, first we have to select that area so we can just select that drag and select and then press alt n and we can actually flip that uh, sometimes it's a bit hard to do this thing because we have some random faces that has been converted to inner. Uh, in order to fix that what you have to do is to select all, alt n and do it recalculate outside. So this this how we don't even need to select the area that is that is having this kind of issue just select all and it do it all by one. So that was it for the sharing smooth 
uh, hope you hope I show the concept that is behind this thing so now let's jump into the third error okay the third error that we get is that sometime we apply a subdivision on an object but it gives this kind of sharp edges and even after smoothing it and after trying everything you won't get the right result and the reason for that is that if you come up closer to the area the edges has been splitted like this the vertex are separated and they are not merged so we have to merge these vertex that are doubles so for that what we have to do is to select all and then alt m and and then press just m and we can do it uh, we have a bunch of options for it but uh, to fix this one what we have to do is to click on by distance and this is how it removed 11 vertex that was actually doubled uh, if it didn't solve at all you can increase the merge distance like this and you would see that it would remove more vertex like that but just do it whenever it's really necessary and your object is not going to fix so after that you can use this trick otherwise the default value of merge distance actually really work really well so that was it for the double vertex it's called and yeah this is how we can solve that so let's jump into the next one okay so here we have an object and if i it's it don't have thickness so if i apply a solidify modifier for thickness it don't work and if I increase the distance as you can see some of the places has been extruded to this side and some of them has been to inside if I just solo this object as you can see the result clearly what I want is that I want the thickness to be exactly to one side so the reason for this is the same as it was for uh, the shading smooth issue is that again we have some face orientation things so some of the faces, uh, faces has been flipped so in order to fix this thing again alt n and outside and now if we apply the solidify modifier you would now see the difference as you can see it's now equally working and i can just increase the distance to the outer or inner side okay jumping to the next one so we have this texture extrude issue that sometimes if we just extrude a face like this as you can see the uv stretch like this and then what we have to do is to unwrap this thing again and remap this thing but there is another way to just do it is that we can come up here to the options and turn on correct face attributes and once we turn on this thing then we can just extrude in the y direction and as you can see this will automatically map the whole thing uh, same goes for any direction that we want it so we can actually complete our whole model without actually um, unwrapping the faces that we extruded again so this was i think pretty important and yeah this can solve this can save a lot of time okay so on the number six we have an error that is loops not adding so sometimes we try to add loops and a lot of places it work but at some places it don't work so there can be a few reasons for that that your loop is not adding to your mesh is that there is something that is causing uh, to add the loop so let me show you that so for example we have to just oversee this thing and as you can see here we have an edge so this edge is actually actually causing to not have the loop so if i just now remove that uh, i might be able to just add loop but i am trying again and as you can see it's not working so there can be other reasons if i just go to the vertex mode as you can see there is another extra vertex that we have here so we have to dissolve this uh, uh, this vertex and one of the vertex is here so i have to also dissolve this thing and let me just try again and now as you can see it's working correctly uh, another thing that might be a uh, problem is that sometimes we have double vertex and for that reason we are not able to actually add loop so we can actually um, do the same thing by merge by distance and as you can see it automatically removed a vertex and now as you can see we are really clear to add our loops like this 
Okay, so I got a lot of comment about people saying that their sculpt do not work and the reason for that is let me first show you how this looks is that you come up here to the sculpt mode and you actually try to draw lines and everything like people do but it actually won't work and the reason behind that is sculpt is simply a method of push and pulling the geometry so once we don't have enough geometry to play with them we cannot actually sculpt that so as you can see if i go to the edit mode there are really a few loops and this is not enough for the sculpting so what we have to do is to come up here and add a subdivision modifier or the multi res modifier and try to just apply a bunch of subdivision like this and now if i come up here and try to draw with the brush and as you can see this is now working really fine and as much as we want the smooth result we have to subdivide this thing again there is another way of subdividing subdividing it uh, the scalp mesh mesh is that uh, it have in remesher so i can just r to set up a division that i want so if i now want this kind of division and now i can control r and actually implement that and now i can actually draw something like this and yeah this make it much much easier to actually um, do the thing it actually uh, don't have the good topology like it was before but this is really good for sculpting okay so if you have any issue that is not including in the uh, 11 errors that i show you can actually comment that and in the short video or in the next uh, part of this error series I will actually cover that so you can comment any of the problem that you have okay next we have another problem and that is the disappearing of model like this as you can see we have this model and if we go a little far away this model actually disappear so the reason for this is that your model is super super big and if for some reason you want a scaled model like this what you can actually do first we have to just scale it down so if you don't need this kind of scale so it will work really fine but if you still want to have this kind of huge model then what you can do is to n press n and coming up here and here you would find in the view a clipping option so what you can do is that you can increase the end of this one so just add a 20 and as you can see now we are able to actually see that and if sometime uh, our model is too small let me just make it really really small like this and if i just do it a bit more so then as you can see it also disappeared like this so the reason for that the to fix this thing we can actually scale this one again as this is the fine method but if you don't want to scale and you want exactly the scale then you can actually decrease the side of um, clipping and as you can see this is how we will be able to actually do this thing okay so this error comes once we import a model from sketchfab or any site so when we import it into blender so it actually looks like this and this is super weird and the reason for that is there is some transparency options that has been enabled so in order to fix this thing select that object and that material and then come up here and then change the alpha blend mode into the opaque and this is how we can solve that so we have to do this one for each material that we have so as you can see uh, this object is also having this issue so i will just click on opaque and this is how we can actually fix our model okay another problem that we get is the black texture issue like this and as you can see i have set up all the nodes and all the maps are really good to go but the thing is that our texture is still black like this so in order to fix this thing what we have to do is to come up here and there is an alpha value for this one and you would notice that is it is zero now so we have to make sure it's one in order to just show our model so i have to do this for all the materials that is having this kind of issue and this will actually help to fix this thing okay so we cover up 11 errors that we get and hope you find 
this video useful and if you have any other error that you get you can actually comment that and i will read that and reply and if it need to be created a video on it i will share a part two of this video where we cover more problems than that so thank you so much for watching and now bye